Welcome to Teacher Wallace Art Studio. This is where I show you simple projects that you can do right at home. So come on, let's get started. Do you have a bunch of this turning into a bunch of these? Well, don't throw these away because we're going to use these today to create three art projects. For our first project, what we're going to need is paper tube, a marker, and a pair of scissors. And that's it. Okay, so we're going to make a monster out of our paper tube. The first thing you're going to want to do is draw an eye on here, or a couple of eyes, but I kind of like to use one eye, so it's like a cyclops monster. So I'm going to draw with my marker uh, a simple little circle. I'm going to put an eye on. Then of course we need a mouth. So um, I'm gonna make him kind of smiley. But he's gonna be a monster smiley. Kind of a monster smiley look. So now we have our monster face on there. So now we're gonna wanna start cutting. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is use my scissors and I'm gonna cut into the tube and I wanna cut down just a little bit before I get to that eye. And we're just gonna keep cutting in little strips and cutting in little strips. And you're gonna cut little strips all the way around the top and this is going to be his hair or his tentacles. Now he's got all this wonderful hair or tentacles. And so you've got your face and your tentacles, but it doesn't look really scary or fun. Now I'm going to push on those like that. Push them down, push them down. Now we have a fun little monster we can play with. Okay, our next project we're gonna make is spring flowers. And so you're gonna need toilet paper tube. You're gonna need some tape. You'll need scissors. A few crayons. You're gonna need green construction paper for the stem. And then you're gonna need some different colors for your flowers, either pink, purple, yellow, orange, whatever color you like. Okay, so that's what we'll need to get started. Let's start off with this, and we're gonna cover it with some green paper to make our stem. So we'll want to take our toilet paper roll, and we're gonna lay it down on the colored paper right there on the edge. And I'm gonna mark just a little bit so that I can get the green color, so I can get the green color on the right length. Now I just cut the paper. Now we're going to put the construction paper around the tube. So you want to roll it onto the tube. And then we're going to tape here and here to keep that on. So I'm going to get some tape. I'm going to tape it and then I'm going to fold it on the inside of the tube. Do the other side. Tape right on the crease and then fold it on the inside of the tube. And there you go. Next, we're going to cut the tube, and we're going to cut down about a third of the way down on one side and on the other side. 
you don't want to cut where your where your uh, seam is because you know that's the back side. This is what I'm going to be calling the back side of the flower. So I want to use one side and the other side. So now I've got two slits in there. Here and here. Okay, next I want to cut out some leaves for the flowers. So I'm going to take my green paper that I have left and um, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to fold it in half. And the reason I'm folding it is because when I cut one leaf, then I'm going to have two leaves. So I'm going to cut on the side that's folded, not on the open side. The side that's folded, not the open side. And I'm going to cut some leaves out. Some leaves are pretty simple. They're just simple little leaf shapes. Okay, and then when you open that up, you have two leaves. Now I'm going to take my crayons and I'm going to give the leaf a little bit more dimension by giving it some extra color instead of being just flat paper. So I'm going to draw the stem part of the leaf itself and then I'm just going to make that bottom half just a little darker, darker green, just to give it some uh, dimension. Let's do the other side. All right, now the leaves look like they're real leaves instead of just a flat piece of paper. All right, now to attach the leaves to our tube, we're gonna take those two slits that we made earlier and we are going to slide the leaves up inside those slits. Now mine's not gonna stand up just yet, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna take these leaves out and I'm gonna make my cuts just a little bit deeper, just a little bit deeper. Of course, it depends on how wide your leaves are gonna be. So these are kind of thin, which is nice, but I wanna make sure that these leaves are gonna go all the way up into those slits. so that it'll actually be out of the way of where it's gonna stand. There we go. Okay, now it's nice and flat on the bottom. Oh look, Baby Yoda. Okay, anyway, there's our stem and our leaves for our flower. Next, we're gonna need our colored paper to cut the flower part out. Now we're gonna create our flower. So I'm going to take a colored crayon that's got a little bit different color than the paper that you're using and I'm going to draw a basic daisy really. Um, basic daisies just have some nice pretty loops. Okay, and then you're going to want to put a center on it of course, flower center. And now we're going to want to cut this out. Now our flower's all cut out and ready to go. Now all we have to do is we have to find uh, a couple of different ways that you can attach your flower. Um, first thing you can do is you could just glue it on there. No problem if you have glue at home. Um, if you don't have glue, we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut slits just like we did for our leaves and we're gonna cut them for the top for the flower. And we're not gonna go quite as deep this time as we did with the leaves. And here's another little tip, is you don't want these slits to go exactly even with the leaves. Otherwise, you're gonna end up cutting all the way through the tube, 
We don't want to do that. So I'm going to scoot forward just a little bit right in there. And then the other one's going to go on the other side right in there. Now we can stick our flower down inside the little slits. Oh, there it is. All done. Now we're going to need our other colored paper because we're going to cut a different kind of flower out with our hands. Okay, next we're gonna make another flower, and this one we're gonna do our hand. So I'm gonna put my hand on my paper, making sure that my wrist hits right on the edge of that paper. And I'm gonna spread my fingers out nice and wide, except I don't want my thumb too wide. Just like that. And I'm gonna take a pencil, and I'm gonna go around my fingers. I'm sure you guys have done this many times in the past. I'm going to go around my fingers and then we're going to cut this out. Ta-da! Now it's all cut out for you. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you take our stem that we made earlier, and we've already cut our slits on the front for the flower, here and here. And now we're gonna take our hand, put it in those slits. And there you go, beautiful flower. For our final project today, we're going to work on our race car. So you're going to need another tube, you're going to need your scissors and your tape, you're going to need glue stick and a marker, and you're going to need brass fasteners. We're going to use these brass fasteners and you're going to need about five of these. Four for the wheels and one for the steering wheel. also going to need white paper, black paper, and whatever color you'd like. For this race car project, I want you to have an older brother or sister or a parent or guardian in the room to help supervise. To start off, we're going to want to cover our tube with our color. So I'm going to put the tube on the edge and I'm going to make a mark with my pencil so I can see just how wide I'm going to need this to be. I want it to be exactly the same length as the tube. And then I'm going to cut it out. Now I want to roll the colored paper onto the roll. So I'm going to start rolling. And when I get to that end there, I'm going to want to cut off this extra. So you can get rid of that. And we're going to make sure that it reaches all the way around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this onto the tube. So you can see right here where the seam is, that is where I'm going to tape. So I want to tape on the seam. And I want to make sure that there's extra so that I can flip it inside the tube. And the other side, tape it right on the seam, and 
inside the tube. Now that is the base of your car. Okay, next comes the part that I really would like for you to have someone help you uh, just supervise you using the scissors. Uh, because we're going to be poking a hole through this tube with the scissors. And that's a little, eh, not dangerous, but just if you're careful, you're not going to get hurt. But I just want to make sure that there's someone watching you do this, okay? So let's start off by marking on our tube where we're going to want to cut. Okay, the seam is the, the underneath side. Consider that the, um, the ground side of the car. Okay, so you're gonna flip it over. And what I want you to do is draw on the top of your car the capital letter H. Not too big, not too wide. The capital letter H. Well, and that way it looks like an I, doesn't it? This way it's an H, but draw an I shape. Make it super long on the top and the bottom, and then the line across the top, okay? We are going to cut that out using our scissors and poking a hole through the tube. Okay, now we're gonna use the sharp point of the scissors to poke a hole so that we can cut this H shape out without going through the edge of the tube. Now comes the part where I want you to have a supervisor in the room with you. Either an older brother or sister or mom, dad, grandparent, just someone that can help you with the scissors. Because what we're going to do is open our scissors all the way up and we're going to use this pointed edge to drill a hole in our tube on the H, okay? So I want you to hold your scissors like this, okay? I want you to put a couple of fingers inside the tube so you can hold it nice and steady. And I want you to put your point right on the edge of the H, right here. And I want you to start drilling it back and forth just really carefully so that you don't poke a hole in your finger on the inside. But what you're doing is cutting through that cardboard and drilling a hole so that you can actually cut it. Once you get all the way through, you're good to go to start cutting. Stick your scissors inside the hole and just cut on the shape of the H. Okay, so you've got one line done. Now I've got to do the exact same thing on the bottom part of the H. Hold it like this. Put it on the corner of the H. Drill. Very carefully so that you don't poke your finger from the inside. When you get through the cardboard, you should be able to feel it go through. You've got a hole there, and now you're going to start cutting that side of the H. So now you've got to cut here and here. But now I've also got to cut that middle bar there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers, go on the inside of my tube, and put my scissors on the inside of one of those cuts you've already done, and cut across that H. Now it's cut, okay? So from the inside, you're going to take your fingers and poke that out, and come on the other side and poke this side out. Now you have your driver's section of the car. One side will be the seat, the other side will be where the steering wheel goes. All right, now I'm going to make the steering wheel so I have a little piece of black paper for my steering wheel. And what I'm gonna do is cut a circle out of that. 
you just want to cut a small circle, not very big. Okay, there's my circle, and it's just big enough to fit for the steering wheel. Now I'm going to put this brad through the middle of my steering wheel. And these have little sharp points on the bottom of them too. Um, they're not that sharp, so they can't hurt you quite as much as like the scissors can. But just be super careful when you're poking this through your paper. So your construction paper circle that you're using for your steering wheel, put it right through the middle. Okay, using our scissors again, we're gonna drill one more hole in the cardboard, and this is for our steering wheel. Okay, so we're gonna open up our scissors again, holding them like this, and we are going to uh, choose a side for our steering wheel. I'm gonna say this side over here. And I wanna go right in the middle of this folded part, and I wanna put a hole right there for my steering wheel. Again, drilling very slowly so that you don't poke your finger as it goes through the cardboard. Okay, I'm all the way through. Now I have a hole where my steering wheel is gonna go. So the steering wheel goes on the inside of the car. So you're gonna put your brad through the hole that you just made. And now you have your steering wheel. And what you wanna do is go ahead and open up your fastener so that it stays in place. There's your steering wheel. And then this is gonna be your seat for your driver. Okay, now we're gonna make the wheels for the car. So what we're gonna need is, we're gonna need white paper and black paper to make those wheels. I'm gonna start with the black paper first. Oh, four brads, four brads, one for each tire. Okay, I'm gonna take my black paper, and this is a little piece of it that I used for my steering wheel. I'm going to fold the paper into four pieces. So fold it in half first and then I'm going to fold it in half again. So I'm getting myself a nice little rectangle shape. The reason I'm folding the paper is so that I can get four tires that are exactly the same size. So when I cut one out, I'll have four already done. All right. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a circle. And you're gonna cut it all the way around. There's my circle. And because I folded it, I have one, two, three, four tires. Now we're going to use our white paper to cut the center of our tires. So I've got white paper and I'm going to do just the same thing that I did with the black and fold it twice to make four pieces. So I'm going to fold it in half and fold it in half again. Now, these circles need to be a little bit smaller than my tires. So let's make them a little bit smaller than what we did before. Okay, they're not exactly round, so let me fix that a little bit. They don't have to be perfect, but they do have to be round, so it'll look like little tires. So now I have one, two, three, 
four circles for the tires. Now I'm going to put my fasteners in the middle of each tire before I connect it to the car. So I make sure that my white center is in the center of my tire and I'm going to take my uh, brass brad and I'm going to leave it pointy and I'm going to put it right in the middle of my tire. May have to squeeze it a little bit to go through two pieces of paper. There we go, went through very easily. Now I have tire number one. Tire number two. Tire number three. Tire number four. Now we have four tires. Okay, again, we're going to be drilling through this cardboard with our scissors. So again, I'm going to want you to have your supervisor handy so that you won't poke yourself with the scissors while we're drilling in. Um, your supervisor can also do these for you. So let your supervisor help you out with drilling the holes. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put a tire here and a tire here. So to do that, I'm going to get one of my tires and I'm just going to measure where it's going to go. Okay, I want it right about there. So that's telling me that my drill hole is going to need to be right here. Drilling a hole very carefully. Now that I'm through all the way, I get my tire and I put the brad through the hole. And on the inside, there it is right there, on the inside, now I'm going to open up that brad so that it holds my tire in place. So see how it's opened up inside there now? It's opened up to hold the tire in place. So now, I have tire number one. Tire number two. Tire number three. And tire number four. So basically now our, our car is done. We have our steering wheel and our seat. We have all of our wheels. All we need to do now is decorate it. Now to decorate our car, we're going to pick a different color to put stripes on our cars, numbers, uh, stars, anything you want to put on there that would make it fancy. Um, on my car that I made before, I used yellow stripes on my blue car and I also put a race car number. Okay, to measure your uh, racing stripes or whatever you want to put on here, you're going to want to make sure that it doesn't come out past the end of your car. So make sure you measure how far you're going to want your strip to go. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut my strip out first. Milk one for the front of the car, one for the back of the car, and then Again, measure how long I want that stripe to be. Then I'm going to cut that off and we're going to glue that right in place. Glue stick. Stripe number one. Stripe number two. Now my car has its fancy little racing stripes on there. Now we're gonna to wanna to put 
maybe a number, we could put it on the side or up on the top of the car. Now to put my racing number on the car, I think I'm going to try to put it between the wheels here. So I've got a white piece of paper, a little small white piece of paper, and I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to draw two circles, one for the one side of the car, one for the other side of the car. And then pick your car number. So what's your favorite number? Uh, let's see, some racing cars people would appreciate. Let's see, car number 33. Okay, so I've got 33, 33. Now I need to cut these out. Now I'm going to glue my numbers onto my car. Now your race car is all done and ready to go. So let's race. I hope that you enjoyed doing this project with me today. If you did, hit the like button on this video and be sure to subscribe for future content to Teacher Wallace on YouTube.